In a time where cookie cutter houses and McMansions dot the landscape, it's not hard to want something more inventive. Thankfully, there are folks whose active imagination and endless budget bring creativity underground. No, not like unsigned rappers, literally underground. Coming up are some incredible houses that may look plain on the surface, but hide a much bigger story within their walls. And hang on tight for the number one house. Just like all the examples, you wouldn't believe its price until you see the kind of stuff that's hidden inside of it. Number 10, the Knightsbridge Hidden House. This one looks like a white wall with a black door, a simple one-story structure in Knightsbridge that once housed two workshops and a retail space. Not much to look at here. Or is there? With the powerful imaginations of LTS architects, 1.9 million pounds in funding, and 16 months of dedicated construction, this unassuming white wall hides a three-bedroom luxury pad. A light well has been incorporated into the design of the house to help flood the Knightsbridge Hidden House with light, while still maintaining an uber-modern swagger. Surfaces of oak, exposed brick, bronze and glass add warmth and character. The bedrooms are placed in the basement. The master suite with its private bathroom is converted from two arched pavement vaults that were original to the building. Looking at this plain white wall, 1.9 million pounds may seem laughable, but I give this house a perfect 10 for execution. Number 9, Cable and House, Festus, Missouri. In 2003, an intrepid couple made a daring purchase on eBay that led to the creation of this unbelievable four bed, two bath, 3,700 square foot home. Having been listed in 2017 for a mere $315,000, Cabeland is a bargain, especially once you see what's inside. From the outside, you see a natural arch and a wall of windows. That wall of windows is actually 28 individual sliding glass doors. The inside is a modern marvel. Living space is incorporated into all the natural nooks and crannies in the rocks, with natural rock walls throughout the space. This creates some unique little areas throughout. The upper level of this main chamber includes three bedrooms and a bath. The entrance, family living areas, and kitchen are on the lower level. The second chamber houses the laundry and shower facilities, powered by Cabeland's very own natural spring. The final chamber has history. Back in the 1960s, this section of Cabeland was used as a roller rink and concert space, allegedly hosting the likes of Tina Turner, Ted Nugent, and Bob Seger. There is no word of a repeat performance anytime soon. Number 8, Beckham Creek Cave, Parthenon, Arkansas. This next house also carries an odd history. Beckham Creek Cave in Parthenon, Arkansas was originally purchased by John Hay of Celestial Seasons Tea fame in the 1980s. Mr. Hay wanted to create a bomb shelter that would house his religious group once Doomsday arrived. Naturally, when the world failed to end by the 1990s, he sold the property to a mysterious Mr. Richardson, who sunk a cool $6 million into making it a hip happening club where the Hollywood elite partied away. In Arkansas? Regardless, John Hay repurchased the cave in 1994 and began the process of turning it into a regular, albeit underground, home. Sure, the stalactites may drip, but this four-bed, four-bath home away from everything has been estimated at a whopping $2.75 million. Currently, it's a lodge-style resort, and for the right price, you and seven of your closest friends can rent the place for a very private getaway. Equipped with a chef's kitchen, high-end entertainment equipment, and carefully designed lighting, this is exactly the sort of mansion you'd never believe existed, even if you did catch the handful of windows peeking out from the foliage. Number 7, Dune House, Atlantic Beach, Florida. Dune House was created by a famous architect by the name of William Morgan in the 1960s. Using the complex yet mathematically sound structure of the Nautilus shell as his design, Mr. Morgan created two townhomes featuring one bed and two baths each. The living space is quite small under the grass-covered dome, but very intelligently and luxuriously designed. There's warm wood paneling throughout the homes, with white concrete walls that reflect light. Closet spaces are built in, too. An outdoor patio space funnels in light from the outdoor living area and beach beyond. This is Florida, after all, there's little reason to be inside. Stairs lead from the courtyard to the roof of the Dune Homes, extending living spaces to the balcony. At last listing, the Dune Homes were offered at a cool $722,000, which included both townhomes. Number 6, Survival Condos, somewhere in Kansas. The location of the Survival Condos is top secret, but we are assured on their website that they're located somewhere near Wichita, Kansas. Here, a decommissioned military missile silo has become a 15-story doomsday shelter that can house hundreds of well-to-do survivors in luxury. From the outside, you'll see a charming grassy knoll with a formidable concrete and steel door. How cozy. Inside, residents with large wallets can choose from several units. The half-floor units cost $1.5 million, offering 900 square feet of living space for three to five residents. Larger families might wish to drop $3 million for the full-floor units, which offer 1,820 square feet of living space for six to ten people. Penthouse units start at $4.5 million and offer 3,600 square feet across two levels and are entirely customizable. Bear in mind, this will be your home for five years years after the big blast. Five years. While the price may seem steep for the space, note that this includes mandatory survival training, access to top secret communication systems, weaponry and military vehicles, and enough preserved food to keep everyone for five years. Each survival condo is luxuriously equipped with stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, jacuzzi tubs, LED 
lighting, and more. There are also some more specialized features, such as closed circuit security system camera viewing, satellite TV feeds, and an outdoor simulator window. The amenities are very exciting, including an indoor shooting range, hydroponic garden, military-grade security, and an indoor pool with an outdoor-like mural. With plenty to keep you sane and safe from mutated creatures and giant cockroaches in the wake of nuclear fallout, living here will be a blast. Huh? Huh? Number 5. Phillip Island House, Australia This house was designed in 1983. It's the brainchild and holiday home of Barry Marshall, one of the founding members of Denton Corker Marshall Architects and an avid surfer. Upon first glance, there's nothing about this dark underground bunker with its sparse driving courtyard that would indicate a joyful holiday on the beach. But check out the inside. The house is made of one long concrete box, 5.5 meters wide and 33 meters long. The walls and roof are untreated concrete and the floor a dark polished terrazzo with accents of steel throughout. The windows have been specifically designed to let the sun in as a design element, with views that add warmth and complement the freedom of a beach holiday. Add to that the low maintenance aspect of the floors and walls and the picture becomes clear. Marshall has created a super futuristic, no must, stress free, easy to clean holiday home where you can have fun instead of constantly hoovering sand off the floor. Smart. Number 4. Chandler Home, McLean, Virginia This home, located on the highly coveted area around Virginia's Potomac River, makes the most of an inconveniently placed ravine, turning 1,719 square feet of otherwise perilous space into a three-bedroom, two-bathroom, $1.3 million home. In 1977, noted architect Donald Reed Chandler created this home as one of the first modern earth room and berm homes in the U.S. From the road, you'll notice a blip of concrete in a car park. Not much to look at, but for those who are riding the resurgence of mid-century modern, the inside is a dream. Light pours in from the skylights of the earthen roof and wood beams create a modern focal point. The walls are concrete brick but paneled in many rooms with natural golden maple which give it that warm vintage glow. The bedrooms pay homage to the great Frank Lloyd Wright with seamless corner windows and built-in storage spaces that are nearly unnoticeable. The rear of the house offers a spacious walkout hovering above the ravine. There's plenty of room outside for guests, a fire pit, a barbecue, all overlooking a beautiful thicket of forest. Number 3. Lancelite Estate, St. Moritz, Switzerland This one is unbelievable in every way. The stone and glass exterior is pretty fabulous, even by St. Moritz standards, but nothing can prepare you for the inside. It offers seven, yes, seven stories below ground. Every inch of this $185 million home is soaked in art, elegance, and luxury. The library is adorned in crushed red velvet with a hidden wood-paneled office. The walk-in closet in the master suite is plated in 24-karat gold. That's right, a golden closet. There's also an elevator, glass floors, and a six-sided floating staircase that winds its way around the interior walls. Most of the lighting comes from subtle subterranean Swarovski crystal features, including the inner lake, which is lit from jewels at the bottom. There are also practical offerings in the home. This is St. Moritz, after all, so there's a private ski den, where boot heaters warm your boots before you hop onto a private chairlift and pop off to the slope. There's a $1.3 million theater level for those Netflix binging afternoons, or you can lounge in the spa level, which includes a Himalayan salt room and a color therapy shower. In all, $185 million seems reasonable, considering you'll never ever want to leave. Number 2. Edgeland House, Austin, Texas From one angle, you'll see two scruffy hillsides by Austin's Colorado River. All it takes is a swift change in perspective to realize that those scruffy hillsides are actually a 2,300 square foot collaboration between Bercy Chen Studio Architects and the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center. But in 20 2012, Edgeland House is a remarkable luxury home that is nearly completely green. Green as an eco-friendly in every possible way. Based on the concept of the Native American pit house, the structures, one of which is a living pavilion and the other a two-bed, two-bath sleeping pavilion, pioneer the concept of a green roof. The earth provides geothermal heating and cooling assisted by a specialized water cooling system in both the ceiling and floor to help maintain temperature inside. There's also a vacuum pump glazing on windows which reduces emissions and a rainwater collection system to recycle valuable liquid assets. Even the pool is a smart pool, which maintains itself without electricity and chemical corruption. The structures themselves feature high glass walls that face each other. Yes, you will be exposed to the elements crossing between the two pavilions, but that's a low price to pay for lending Mother Nature a hand. The interiors are ultra-modern, suave, and extremely low maintenance, requiring as much upkeep as the wild prairie itself. To say the least, living in Edgeland House is truly living off the land. Ah, uh, well, okay, I'll stop. Number 1. Secret Underground House, Bowdoin, Cheshire The property is number one for so many reasons. Being set on historic grounds, privacy is absolutely key for this home to avoid harming the well-landscaped sounding area, which is why it's nicknamed Purdue or Lost. Above ground, all you can see is an unassuming small rectangular brick structure you'd be forgiven for assuming is an outhouse for the large house to the left. If you saw this from ground level, you'd laugh at the thought of paying 2.5 million pounds for it, which is about 3 million dollars. But that's seriously what 
the guide price for this property is. It's until you look at it from a different perspective when it makes sense. The secretive structure designed by Huntsmere and NC Homes hides a vast space. From above, you can see a simple garden encapsulates a private outdoor area surrounding a large glass dome, which is responsible for lighting 50 feet of underground space. Entering through the tiny above ground porch, you'll be very surprised to see what lies beneath. The living quarters spiral around this atrium, allowing sunlight to fill all the operating areas, including a reception and kitchen area on the ground floor and the master suite. The rest of the home, including two more bedrooms with private ensuite baths, a gym, a jacuzzi, and even an underground pool, remains even further downstairs. Uh, underground. In fact, a slide takes the weary riser from the master bedroom to the jacuzzi to the suite. Even better, being underground, it's well insulated, which along with eco-friendly heating and cooling systems enable it to use a reported 75% less fossil fuels than your average mansion. So tallying that up, you've got utter privacy, low utility bills, and only one window to clean, and a slide from your bed to a jacuzzi. No wonder the architects of this design won awards for it. So do these houses have you yearning for a secret mansion of your own? Or are your tastes a little more out in the open? Let me know in the comment section down below, and thanks for watching.